Good day class. In this video, we will continue the filling out of the DH parametric table. And now, the, it is the turn of cylindrical manipulator. Okay. So, I will just make this fast for row 1. So, this is H01 for row 2 this is H12 and for row 3 this is H23 okay so for the column of theta we will start at the base our frame our J sub n minus 1 is J sub 0 our X sub n minus 1 is x sub 0 and our x sub n is x sub 1. So, the theta is the required rotation angle to match the direction of x sub 0 to the direction of x sub 1. But they are already at the same direction. So, this will be 0 degrees. Plus, don't forget, our first joint is a revolute joint. We have a given. Uh, joint variable theta 1. So you will add joint variable theta 1. Okay, next is row 2. For row 2. Okay, for row 2, our frames are frame 1 and frame 2. Okay, so... Our j n minus 1 is j sub 1. Our x sub n is x, x sub n minus 1 is x sub 1. And our x sub n is x sub 2. We will uh, make x sub 1 the same direction with x sub 2. So as uh, the, uh, the, rot the axis of rotation is j sub 1. Okay. The amount of rotation to match the direction of x sub 1 with x sub 2 is the theta. So, x sub 1 is at the right direction. j sub 1 is the axis of rotation. So, the direction of rotation is counterclockwise. So, this the rotation is from here to here to match with x sub 2. x sub 2 is pointing x sub 2 is pointing forward. So, we will rotate x sub 1 until it hits the forward direction. Or, it will have the same direction with x sub 2. So, this is the same direction with x sub 2. So, the amount of uh, rotation is 270 degrees. Okay? The amount of rotation is 270 degrees. So this is 270 degrees. Okay, you don't need to add anything because this joint is a prismatic joint. Okay, you don't need to add a theta. Next, for uh, frame 2 and frame 3, our j sub n minus 1 is j2. Our x sub n minus 1 is x2. And our x sub n is x3. So we will make x sub 2 uh, have the same direction with x sub 3. But uh, they have already the same direction. So our theta here is 0 degrees. So there's nothing to add because joint, joint 3 is a prismatic joint. There's no joint variable theta at joint 3. Now, let's go to column alpha. Column alpha. Let's start again from the base. So, frame 0 to frame 1. The x sub 1 is the x sub n. j sub 0 is the j sub n minus 1. j sub n is j sub 1. We will uh, make j sub 0 have the same direction with j sub 1. 
but they have already the same direction so our alpha here is zero degrees next row two is at the frame one and frame two okay uh x sub n is x sub 2, z sub 1 is z sub n minus 1, and z sub 2 is d, z sub n. So, we will rotate at the direction, we will rotate at the axis of x sub 2 to make z sub 1 have the same direction of z sub 2. Huh? So that z sub 1 will have the same direction with z sub 2. Okay, so x sub 2 is the axis of rotation so the, the direction of rotation will be here okay this is the counterclockwise direction because x sub 2 is the thumb j sub 1 is the direction of the four fingers the the direction of the closing of our four fingers is count this is counterclockwise Okay, so it will match if we stop. It will uh, it will match with X, with J sub two. Uh, with two hundred seventy degrees rotation angle. Okay, two hundred seventy degrees. So the alpha is two hundred seventy degrees. Okay, next. For third row, alpha. Uh, so, at, it is at the frame 2 and frame 3. So, x sub 3 is the x sub n. z sub n minus 1 is z sub 2. z sub 3 is the z sub n. So, x sub, uh, z sub 2 is already at the direction of z sub 3. So, our... Uh, Alpha at row 3 is 0 degrees. Okay. Next is R. So R is the distance of uh, a frame, distance of the origin of frame n to frame n minus 1 along x sub n axis. So let's go back to the base. x sub 1 is the x sub n axis. So the... Okay. The distance from this origin up to this origin along x sub 1 is 0. Because along x sub 1, there is no link length. Okay? Along x sub 1, there is no link length. A3 is not the link length. Okay? It's very far. X1 is very far from A3, so it's not the link length. Okay. So this is 0. Next, the distance of frame 2 to frame 1, the origin of frame 2 to frame 1 along x sub n our x sub n now is x sub 2 again this is 0 because x sub t x sub 2 is pointing uh, forward there is no link length located at forward direction okay then for row 3 the distance of frame 3 to frame 2 along x sub 3 axis because x sub 3 is the x sub n for frame 2 and frame 3 it is also 0 the distance is also 0 because x sub 3 is uh, pointing forward there is no link length uh, associated with x sub 3 okay so that is our r let's go back to the base so the origin the distance of frame one 
to frame 0 along z sub 0 axis because z sub 0 is the z sub n minus 1. Okay, it is where we will get the letter D. Okay, along z sub 0 axis, we have a sub 1. So, we will put a sub 1 here. Next, for row 2. For row 2, the distance of the origin of frame 2 to the, dis to the origin of frame 1 along z sub 1 axis because z sub 1 is the z sub n minus 1, okay, is a sub 2. a sub 2 because it is along z sub 1 plus... Okay, it is at the joint 2. Joint 2 is a prismatic joint. And there is a given, there is a given uh, joint variable D, which is D2. So this is A2 plus D2. And last row, last column. Okay. Uh, the distance of the origin of frame 3 to the origin of frame 2 along z sub 2 axis because z sub 2 is the z sub 1 axis. Okay. So along z sub 2 axis is a sub 3 plus the given joint variable d3. Okay, so this is the parametric table, the H parametric table of cylindrical manipulator of a 3 degrees of freedom special cylindrical manipulator. Okay, so thank you.